Well, tomorrow marks the start of Literacy Week. January 27th is recognized across Canada as International Literacy Day. The consequences of illiteracy are profound, from a child's ability to thrive in school to an adult's ability to find a job. On the Saanich Peninsula, there is a retired school principal working hard to fight illiteracy, illiteracy rather, and get books into the hands of young children. For a few hours once a week, these volunteers stack, sort, clean and repackage children's books. It's truly a labour of love. At the end of the morning, it's uh, such a tangible thing that we stand back and we know, look what we did. <laughs> That is so cute. It all started when Daphne McNaughton was principal of Sanishton Elementary. She was searching for ways to encourage parents to read with their young children. Children who have been read to on a regular basis have an increased likelihood of success in school. And so she started a book drive. And in her last three years before retirement, her grade five leadership students collected and distributed more than 10,000 children's books within the school community. Right. Once she retired, she expanded the book drive to include all Saanich District schools. And so, in the spring of 2008, the 1,000 by 5 Children's Book Recycling Project was born. If we read to our children um, 300 of 365 nights a year, then those numbers quickly add up to over 1,000 by 5 years old. Most of the volunteers are retired teachers and share Daphne's passion. Children need books, they love books, and to be able to provide books just across the population out here in Saanich is, is uh, really heartwarming. I really just love the idea that I can come here once a week and that these books are going to be in the hands of children tonight. There's donation boxes to drop off your gently read books all over the Sandwich Peninsula. And we thought this was a great opportunity for us to get involved and have a large contribution back to literacy for, for our youth. One of the delights is when you find really old books. Once donated books arrive, they are sorted into different age groups, then each book is checked over and cleaned. When they come to us, some look well loved, we can scrub them up. Others uh, um, we're not able to use if they're ripped or pages missing. One of the supporters of 1000 by 5 is the Victoria Foundation. Its mandate is to strengthen communities and this program fits the bill. It creates success at school, it creates emotional success, belonging, a sense of belonging with their families, with their community. Daphne hopes 1000 by 5 spreads to other communities. It's replicable, fairly easy to manage. Our volunteers and I work here once a week for about three hours. And make a huge difference in the lives of children. Vital People is brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.